All right, that was Radio Free Europe by the guys who you've been hearing for the last two weeks that they're going to be on this show, and now finally at last, that moment is here. I'm sitting here with Mike Mills of REM. Mike, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you very much. Uh, how's the tour going so far? Wonderful. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, tell me something. Um, first of all, you guys all, you're all from the University of Georgia? Is that where you, you met? None graduated, but we all met there, yeah. Okay, were, all right, so tell us that story, how you all got together. Well, we, uh, we ended up there going to school and met at a party. Bill and I knew each other from a long time ago. Bill and, was uh, Bill Berry, the Bill drummer. the drummer. And Michael and Peter met in the record store where Peter worked. And uh, we were introduced by a mutual friend who was also having a birthday party in about a month. So we said, well, we'll get together and have some fun at this party and, you know, get drunk and play for free. And uh, we did that and everybody had a real good time and uh, played another party and then somebody offered us a club date and we said, great. So it's just kind of snowballing. So you put the band together essentially for this birthday party. Oh, yeah, that was all. I mean, we had no intention of all right, now, going beyond. Okay, Michael Stipe, lead si singer, and Peter Buck. Were, they were not real, like, professional, aspiring musicians. Oh, I don't right? think any of us were really aspiring, or professional, for that matter. Yeah. But, uh, no, they hadn't worked at it very much. Bill and I had kicked around in a few uh, rhythm and blues bands and uh, stuff like that. Uh -huh. Well, okay, we're going to uh, have to go away for just a moment. Uh, you want to introduce this next video here? Okay, homegrown video. This is oh, Irish. Wait, hold it, hold it. They're telling us we don't have to go away here. Oh. Right, so we can, the video here. Can, we can wait sit here then. and talk for another couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, now they're telling us we do have to go. See, this is how TV works. I love TV. It's <laughs> they tell you guys, okay, why don't you introduce it? I will introduce video. it. This is Irish and Ready for You. It's a homegrown video on Video 22. That's the way things go. Hi, I'm Mike Mills of REM, and you're watching Video 22 on KWHY-TV, Channel 22, Los Angeles. Invincible, Pat Benatar, sitting here with Mike, Mike Mills from REM. All right, we've established that the band kind of got together as it was a fluke more than anything else. Fluke, yeah. At what point, after you had done, played a couple of parties around Athens, Georgia, and, and had done a couple of club dates, at what point did you decide or let's let's try to pursue a career. Well, we we figured as long as people were going to offer us dates, we'd take them, you know. And uh, some friends of ours, Pylon, we were going to play a show in North Carolina. They had to cancel, and the club said, "Well, who can we get to play?" And they said, "Well, how about these new guys already in?" So once once we started playing out of town, we decided to uh, keep it up. I, I really decided it was going to be a serious career when I realized I could quit my day job, uh -huh. which was <laughs> which I did five seconds before I got fired. Well, <laughs> what were you doing? Uh, I was an inserter at a newspaper. I see. Yeah, I won't mention what that means, but... but the people, the people, uh, are people surprised when they find out that you're not English ever? I mean, do people, do most people think, just assume that you're... No, I think what surprises them is that we don't have these drastic southern accents. Uh -huh. That's what really gets to people. How come y'all don't talk like this? <laughs> well, we can if we want to, <laughs> but, uh... No, I mean, some people have said we sounded British, but not so much that we actually fooled them into believing that we were. Yeah, I, I mean, I just assumed, I think, from the name of the band, that when I first heard of you and heard you, that, that you were a British band. Oh, that's and all right. And uh, when I heard that you were from Athens, Georgia, then I said, well, how come they don't talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Why doesn't anybody understand the lyrics to your songs? They don't pay enough attention. Is that what it is? That, it's all, it's us, it's not you. Yeah. Everything is... No, I mean, they make, they make sense. Uh, I mean, they're not... Michael doesn't write syntactically correct sentences. I mean, if you wrote them down on a piece of paper, they wouldn't be, you know, like paragraphs and words that make that much sense. But okay. they fit in context. Okay, we got to break away from we We'll get back to Michael and his lyrics in a moment. You want to introduce <laughs> this next there. one? Yeah. This is going into Perfect Kiss by New Order. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Mike Mills of REM. Watch for me right here, Friday at 4 o'clock on Video 22. You're no evil, Grim Reaper, and I'm sitting here with Mike Mills from REM. I wanted to ask you, while we were talking about uh, Michael Stipes and his lyrics, you know, They've been, you've been accused, or he's been accused of writing ob some obscure lyrics. Obscure, no. <laughs> uh, they, they're not, they just, they wouldn't make all that much sense if you read them out like a, like a book or a story or something. But in the context of the song, they, they, they get the idea across. And the, uh, that's all they're supposed does to Does everyone else in the band immediately 
know exactly what he's talking about when he comes no, in with a song. But at the same time, you know, what I think a song is about is not always what he might think a song is about. You know, he might have this idea while he's writing it, and then when I hear the words, it conjures up a totally different image in my mind. And it, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the same as his. How, do you, how does the band make decisions? <laughs> is, it, is it decision by <laughs> committee, or, coin. Is, or is there somebody who... who yeah, everybody, uh, everybody has an equal vote. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a real democratic process. If there's something that one person absolutely can't stand, they can exercise a veto power. Oh, I see. So nobody in, nobody in the band ever says, I started this thing and we do it my way or I'm no. going home. No. That doesn't happen. That would be horrible. Uh, well, could you tell me about the Hornets attack Victor Mature? Yeah, uh, that was really great. Um, we read about that name actually years ago. Apparently a band around here had it, but they never went anywhere or did anything. So we, we wanted to play this club under an assumed name to work out some new songs and yet not draw this huge crowd in our hometown, which is what we would have done. So we didn't tell anybody, even the club owner, until we showed it with our equipment. They thought it was this band from Nashville. Oh, I mean, <laughs> they had no idea who they were booking. No, because, no. So was, was it a big success? Oh, it was great. It, you know, a couple hundred people showed up. It was all we wanted, and we got to work out the new stuff. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to take another break. We'll talk about their new album um, after we go away for a minute, show some videos, do a little business. Want to introduce this one? Yeah, I'd like this one. This is a great song. Dear Prudence, Susie and the Banshees on Video 22. Yeah. Don Henley, not enough love in the world. This is Mike Mills from REM. <clears throat> I'm David Maples from Video 22. Uh, let's show this album, of, this, this new album of yours, first of all, <laughs> if we may. You get that? Can we, can we get a shot on this, please? Hey, here we go. Okay, and it's right. called Fables of the Reconstruction or Reconstruction of the Fables. Uh, it works both ways. It's actually kind of a, a, a circular thing, and you can go crazy reading that album cover. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend it. Go back to the 60s. Uh, where, you want to talk about where this all came from? The, the album or the, or the stuff inside it? <laughs> Either, um, whatever. The cover is great. Michael stayed up all night doing it with Rush. Mm -hmm. And it took a lot of hard work. I really like it. Okay, we're going to take a look at your new video Yay. Um, called Can't Get There From Here, uh, which is the subject of a big contest that we had. Why don't you introduce it? All right, here was R.E.M., that's me, with Can't Get There From Here. <laughs> and video 22. Let's watch it over here. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. That's the first time I've seen the whole thing. Really? Yeah. Uh, this is, by the way, Mike Mills <laughs> from our the video you just saw. All right, what was that about? Uh, don't ask me. <laughs> you <laughs> were just was, telling me that all of this makes sense. No, no, no. The, the record makes sense. Um, the, the whole idea of that was just to get my car and Bill's car into a oh, video. Oh, was a nice car. His was the, was the blue Mine's 66 T-Bird. Mine's the T-Bird, yeah. by the way. Bill's is a Lavender 1960 Galaxy. Uh-huh. What so. car? So that the the rest of it is just a bunch of nonsense, really. <laughs> <laughs> but it's supposed to be funny and kind of have a sense of humor about it. So I see. All right. Um, you, have you guys um, any particular desire to leave Athens, Georgia, or are you going to remain just good old boys? Well, fortunately, we get to leave it all the time. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And after a few months on the road, you can go home and relax. It's a very nice place for that. Couldn't do that in New York City. Okay. And uh, it's a good place to play golf, also, which that is too. something that you do quite a bit of. Uh, when I can, I don't get to enough. So. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for joining All me. Right. It was a pleasure having thank you here. Good luck to you and the rest of the guys. Thanks very much. Uh, that's the end of the day. It's the end of the week. It's the end of everything for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, it's not. I'll be back next Monday. And we're going to have, next week, a new Top Ten, a new Pick Hit, more premieres, Life by Night, uh, Mr. Mr. in studio, all kinds of things. So make sure you tune in next Monday. Uh, I'll be here. I hope you will. We'll see you guys then. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Mills from REM. Watch for me right here tomorrow at 4 o'clock on Video 22. Hi, this is Mike Mills of REM wishing a very happy birthday to Video 22.